that's everyone in D.C. playing a game on us where they know what the outcome is, where we're going to take the hit again and the rich and the powerful are going to slide again. All right, let me pose that question to a man who doesn't play those games, independent senator from Vermont, Bernie Sanders. Uh, Senator, great to have you here. Uh, As I look at this, I think, I mean, wasn't this the most obvious to be expected move of all time when you first give away the spending cuts and then, gee, why? I wonder why the Republicans didn't go along with the tax cuts. Well, Cenk, I think you hit the nail right on the head. Uh, And here's the pity of it all. By overwhelming numbers in every single poll that I have seen, the American people believe that deficit reduction must be accomplished through shared sacrifice, that the wealthiest people in this country can no longer enjoy huge tax breaks, that corporations making billions of dollars in profits and not paying a nickel in taxes have got to have those loopholes addressed. That's what the American people believe in overwhelming numbers. My view is that the president has got to use this Republican walkout as an opportunity. And what he has got to do now very firmly is go to the American people and make it clear that he will never support deficit reduction, which does what the Republicans want. And that is move toward a balanced budget on the backs of the elderly, the sick, the children and the poor. And you know what? If he does that, he's going to have the American people in huge numbers on his side. When Mitch McConnell says, oh, they, don't, they want tax increases, what we are talking about is undoing Bush's tax breaks for the rich, plugging loopholes which allow millionaires and billionaires to stash their money in the Cayman Islands and not pay a nickel in taxes. When we say right. we want to address those issues, the American people are with us. The president must take that fight to the people. Uh, you know, Senator Sanders, I wish the president listened to you. That would be awesome. That would be perfectly logical. You would have the people behind you. I really doubt it. So I'm going to ask you a question about whether you think the White House is a little naive or if somehow the fix is in. Because see, I want to show you a clip from earlier. Uh, after uh, we gave away the, all those tax cuts again to the rich, the president was asked about what's going to happen during these negotiations. And an interesting response. Let's look at that. When you say that it would seem they'll have a significant uh, amount of leverage over the White House, what do you mean? Look, here's my expectation, Uh, and I'll take John Boehner at his word, that nobody, Democrat or Republican, uh, is willing to see the full faith and credit of the United States government uh, collapse, that that would not be a good thing to happen. You know, Senator Sanders, when I saw that happening, when it happened, I was like, really? He's going to take Boehner at his word? You know, I look at that and I really wonder. I mean, and you, you're in Washington. You're a senator. You know better than I do. I think, can he possibly mean that? Does he really think that Boehner would say, oh, yeah, I'll do whatever you want. I'll, I'll just do what I told you I was going to do. Sure, I'll the put tax on the table. You can't believe that, can you? The president understands that for the first time in our history, not paying our debts in a world economy which is on very shaky grounds would be a very bad thing. And the president is clearly right. But on the other hand, what we also know, Cenk, is the Republicans are tough. And yeah, they understand the repercussions of this, but they are weak. They are prepared to take it to the president. And I think the dynamic of it is that they assume that they're going to be firm and that they are going to prevail and that the White House and the Democrats will collapse. And again, the absurdity of this is the vast majority of the people support the Democratic proposal. And what the president has got to say is, if you choose, Republicans, to not raise the debt ceiling, if you refuse for the first time in American history not to pay our debts, and if we enter a depression or huge kinds of financial instability, the American people will know that that responsibility is on your shoulders. You are the ones who have done it. You refuse to compromise, and you have done it, and we're going to take the case to the American people. But to keep backtracking, to keep capitulating, I think, is not what the American people want. You know, we talk in a general sense about trillion dollars in cuts. You know what we're talking about? We're talking about throwing millions and millions of people off of Medicaid. We're talking about making it impossible for working class families to send their kids to college. We're talking about cuts that are in nutrition which will increase the amount of hunger. This is a lot of pain that the Republicans are tossing out while they want to protect their rich friends. The the president has got to stand tall, 
take the case to the American people and hold the Republicans responsible if the debt ceiling is not raised and the repercussions of that. All right, Senator Sanders, to buttress your point, I want to give you another poll about uh, Paul Ryan's plan. The American people hate it. 57% saying that we'd be worse off. 34% saying we'd be better off. Those are terrible numbers, obviously, for the Republicans. Uh, so we got the wind on our back. But my guess is, my very, very strong hunch is, that we're going to come out of this. Well, they're going to take some tax loopholes away. And there's going to be a deal at the end. But they are actually going to lower corporate taxes. When that happens, I, you know, I can't begin to tell you the disappointment uh, in real Americans. <laughs> I've seen it in poll after poll. W what's going to happen in Washington? They're just well, going to go along. Can, all, I could, all I can tell you, Cenk, is I'm going to be on the floor, I believe, Monday at 4 o'clock, speaking at some length about this issue. The I, Number one, this is terrible public policy. Middle class is collapsing. They don't deserve cuts. The rich are getting richer. They have got to pay their fair share of taxes. And second of all, this is what the American people believe in. They believe in the concept of shared sacrificing, shared sacrifice, not balancing the budget on the most vulnerable people in this country. So I'm going to do my best. And I think the American people have got to chime in very loudly and say, hey, Mr. President, stand with us. Stand with us and be prepared to take on the big money interest. We'll be at your back. All right. That would be fantastic. Senator Bernie Sanders, as always, a great pleasure. Thank you for joining us.